Hey everyone, it's Lisa Wilbur. Um, just wanted to answer another question that I've gotten on my wall. Hey, this one says, how do you keep your team motivated in placing orders? Well, there's one thing I did want to say to start off with is, you know, it helps to keep your team motivated if you start with motivated people. <laughs> That's why I was saying in an earlier video, if you're going to talk people into this or overcome many, many objections, they're not motivated. They're, they're not going to work out. The minute you walk away from them, they're going to change their mind and not place orders. And truthfully, if they don't place an order, pay for it, you're not sell some things, place an order and pay for it, you're not going to earn any money. And they have to do that repeatedly for you to get your investment back because each person you invest in, you invest your time, you invest your money by sending them a welcome kit, you invest repeatedly by sending them things and and answering their questions and talking with them and building the relationship so you make an investment in each person in your group don't you want people that want to be in your group <laughs> you know it's it sounds like common sense but you'd be surprised how many people are dragging their team down the road hoping that they'll change and I don't know but team members are a lot like spouses <laughs> you're not going to get them to change you know, you're better off to start with motivated people. Um, I think that's why it's so important not to talk people into this. Um, having some questions about the business before you join is one thing, but having to talk someone into this is something else. I've actually seen a lot of people um, who do tailgating or job fairs or whatever it is. Those aren't bad things, but what they'll do is once they get somebody to talk to them, they'll keep on and go on and on and on until the poor person gives them ten dollars to get away from them don't be that person <laughs> because then you there then you're going to be asking me how you keep them motivated because they're not going to place orders they're not going to be invested in the business okay now with that said once you do have team members um, think about how you would like to be treated if you were the team member working for your goals. So you want to find out your team members, what their goals are, what they're working for. So I often, when I first talk to somebody, I will say, why are you in this business anyway? You know, what brought you to Avon? Why are you working? What are you going to do with the money that you earn? That way you have an idea and you can take some notes. And that way next time you talk to them, you can, uh, you know, reference what they're working for and keep them focused on their goals. Um, I, I like to, too, a lot of times, if I find out they're working for something specific. Uh, I had a team member a while back that really had her heart set on an above-ground pool for a backyard for her kids for summer. So every once in a while, I'd send her a uh, one of those blow-up toys you play with in the pool. <laughs> you know, just in a box all by itself with a little note, you know, and uh, just things like that to keep them focused on their goals. That helps. The other thing is recognition. I spend... Uh, most of my um, support money and time in the top 20% recognizing their efforts. So I do award certificates every campaign uh, for the top 25 in sales, my top recruiters, and also uh, the anniversaries and things like that. But it's the top producers that I spend most of my time on. I don't spend a lot of time chasing people that aren't ordering or chasing people that aren't paying. Yes, I would send them out a, a, a mass email uh, reminding them they haven't paid or haven't ordered, but those aren't who I'm spending the majority of my time on. I, I focus on the people who are producing because they are the motivated ones, okay? Um, if you're asking me how you motivate people, that's probably because you're spending the majority of your time on the bottom 80% who aren't doing anything. Try to spend your time on the top 20% because they are doing something already and they are the motivated ones okay build a relationship with them go spend time with them talk to them do FaceTime with them uh, have a group a uh, um, Facebook group and post regularly interacting with them it's the top people that you need to worry about not necessarily the bottom because you're always going to have people that aren't motivated even if you work hard to sign up only motivated people Okay, so it's not your job really to motivate someone else. I'm not sure that's even possible. 
Your job is to find, listen to them, find out why they're in the business, and see how you can be of service. You know, serve your um, downline members the best that you can, helping them towards their goals. Okay, I hope that's helped you today, and uh, I'll get to some more questions soon. Have a great day.